<clears throat> All right, apparently we're live and CG World Order, thank you for being here. Let's see. Hey CG. Yes, for being first is a thing, I guess. I prefer being second and then let everybody else fight over being first. I am doing this stream to unbox a couple things because they came in and I want to show them off. Uh -oh. ah, Got to mute that. All right. And, uh, oh, you know, one person I didn't, um, I didn't link somebody just to tell them it's here. I'll get him later, but it, Luke Stone. Anyway, um, instead of being able to do this with somebody, I just threw links out there. Hey, Tank Ferret. How you doing? <laughs> I I am beautiful. Thank you. So I had a few things come in and I just, people seem to like showing them off. You can probably guess what, what that is. This time I remembered to deal with my labels. Uh, so let's get this out of the way real quick. We got 13 minutes or less until Todd's Truth starts his stream. So where does this go? Oh, this is, this is a tape nightmare. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been sending books out, and they're doing a good job with them. So, it's should I embrace the silence or just enjoy that? You know, like I'm the only one here. What do I do with that? I don't. I don't have a sidekick. So, there we go. This is ah, oh, Butch Cleaver. Cool. And came with the trading card. That's nice. Holy cow! Now I watch Mitch do this. Mitch is like my role model. And so apparently I got to take everything out and spread it out and all that. Oh, good Lord. This, this is thrilling video. I'm sure gravity assist. Nice. Oh, cool. So there are like three cards here. Um, yeah. yeah. Sorry for the glare. I know it's a little blurry. My camera sucks. Uh, art by Jason Bascom. And that's a character card. And of course, the 6am comic sticker. So I like Mark. He does good work. Now, I forget um, what the difference is here with... I think this is this is a number one. And then here we have a graphic novel. But I, I would have to go back and look at the campaign to see how they relate to each other. So there's that. I'll put these away later. So moving quickly to number two here. Ryan Criscow was showing this off the other day on, uh, well, that, that was effective. <laughs> By the way, I might become a colorist. I found these in a box. I'm ready to become a colorist now. <laughs> yes, it's terrible. Oh, the shredding. Oh, what is this? This is like Mardi Gras stuff. Cool. Yeah. I mean, Mardi Gras was a little bit ago, but that's fine. I wonder if this is just a toy or if it's chocolate. It looks like it's just a toy. Okay. Cool. I hope I didn't ruin it there. Oh, I may have. So, a lot of fun from over in... Yeah, I peeled a little paint off. Fun from over in uh, New Orleans. And I guess I did not... Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. Go in. Here we go. So we got the Chronicles of... I can't read that upside down. Oh, Count Carlos. All right. And God's Hand. Holy shnikes. You know, you tell people you like trading cards, and suddenly everybody's got them. That, I think, is promo. And... So there's a sticker. I'm not going to fight to make it come out. Just a little decoration. Cool. Yeah, there are record companies that sometimes take their the center seal of their um, of their records, you know, with the hole in it, and hand those out as promos too. Oh, nice. He signed this one. So there's one on the front. That's better. There's one on the front. Sorry, it's kind of grainy. And another one on the back. Dude, my my focus is terrible. I apologize, but these are signed up there. Bookmark. One print. A hot print. Very hot. It's really cool. Hey, thanks, Anthony. I appreciate it. And um, another promo thing for 
what is this? Oh, Justice City Chronicles. So that's coming up. All right, nice, Anthony. I'll dig into this later. We'll find out about it. And last but not least, the third thing, this before I go and I try to do some reviews. See, I remember to take care of my labels this time. I had peeked in this before, but if you guys know Luke Stone with the, um, uh, what is it, Hybrid, Hybrid's book, I really dig, oh, hey, Ian, is it a fancy spinner? No. In fact, I don't know which which it you're referring to, Ian. But anyway, uh, no, it is not a fancy spinner. <laughs> so, with Luke, there's a lot, like, I'm good with trading cards, but I normally don't get into paraphernalia, and I say I avoid all that paraphernalia. And then you find, like, the one thing you just have so much fun with that you break all of your rules. And that would be Luke Stone's properties. I don't know why I like it. But he's got a mug, which is on his Indiegogo campaign right now. So check that out. Oh, the gold thing. No, it is not a I don't think it's a spinner. It does have a crease in it, or a, a seam on the edge. I don't know Mar Mardi Gras. You're probably smarter than me on that one. So, anyway, there's that. But here's Luke's mug with all of his characters and, of course, his big guy. So, if you are left-handed, you get to see all of them. Like so. The gold thing. Yep. Hello, everybody. Tank, this is Ian. Um, CG World Order, this is Ian. Ian, this is CG World Order. Hope you all, you all can see each other. Oops, there we go. Yeah, so this is cool. Um, it looks like this is built for the obesity epidemic. It looks like it's like nine ounces right across. Uh, but that's nice. The interior is black, like my soul. So, you know, we go together. So nice. All right. Thank you, Luke. Um, he does still have these on his campaign. And hey, thanks. For, oh, there's Mitch. Definitely not a spinner. We got, what's up, guys? And everyone, Ian says hello to you. Hi, Mitch. Let's see, we got eight minutes or seven minutes till um, till Todd's streaming later today. And I'm going to go wash this and uh, I guess use it. Everybody have a good night. Take care of each other. Love y'all. Bye. <laughs> he knows me. <laughs> <laughs>